Hey tech fans, glad you're here. But before we jump into today's video, let's hear a word from our sponsor, Corsair. If you're looking for a quiet liquid CPU cooler that also has RGB, then look no further. Corsair has the cooler for you. The all-in-one Hydro Pro Series liquid coolers from Corsair are the quietest coolers on the market. Featuring a quieter pump, ML series magnetic levitation fans, a zero RPM mode, and a quiet startup, Corsair has cut the noise of the liquid CPU cooler to its minimum. Also included in the Hydro Pro Series liquid coolers is a brand new compact RGB pump head that produces vivid lighting effects to match your system. Use the cooler in conjunction with the Corsair Link software to adjust RGB lighting in individual fan and pump speeds while monitoring your CPU and coolant temperatures and more. So next time you're looking for a 280 or 360 millimeter radiator, check out the Corsair Hydro Pro RGB liquid coolers. All right, so that's a pretty cool product, right? But now let's jump into today's video. Right now, it honestly seems to me that this is the absolute worst time ever in the entire history of my life in the PC industry to build a PC. It's just gotten completely out of hand, completely out of hand. The dog's trying to clean my hand, but it's gotten completely out of hand. At first, it was just kind of a little thorn in my foot bothering me, but now it's getting ready to be a major pain in my butt. For one thing, Almost every person that I know has called me and asked me for something weird to do. Like they call me up, they get a system quote for me, and then it's like, well, how about if I just want the video card? Now, if it was one time, I'd be like, okay, it's cool. But this happened like about seven or eight times now where I'm quoting these people like full systems, you know, and, and trying to square them with the video card. But then they're just like, oh, I just want the video card and I want it at this price. And there's really no way that unless I can replace a video card right now, that I can give it out for pretty much anything less than what I'm at to pay for it. I mean, getting video cards, even from the companies, Asus, EVGA, MSI, Gigabyte, any of these companies is getting very, very slim pickings. A few guys are able to get them, you know, but they are very slim pickings. And all the prices on a lot of things are going up, up, up. Memory's going up. So that's gonna drive the price of a lot of other stuff up as well. And honestly, these video cards, I mean, I'm blown by the price. Like the other day we did a video, you know, I, I asked you guys if you guys wanted me to do the Red Devil, but that card's 1500 bucks for a card that is normally $600. So that's more than double the face value of that card. And that's complete BS. So many people out there right now around the world and, you know, a lot of you guys out there who live like in Jamaica and these rural areas, you know how hard it is just to get parts to where you are. A lot of countries also have super duper high tariffs. So if you know, if you go and you buy this video card at $1,000 and it gets to your country, well, guess what? You may even be paying up to another $1,000 in tax. I know a lot of companies out there in Brazil, my Brazilian friends tell me that whenever stuff comes into Brazil, it just costs them a fortune just to pay the duty fees and the tax fees. So honestly, who can afford $2,000 for a video card unless you're a rich guy? So what, is PC gaming now just turning into something that's going to be a rich man's game? And I said this before, what's really freaking crazy is even consoles are going up. They're using the excuse of all these cards that are out there to bring up the prices on consoles. So now, not only are you getting screwed when you're trying to buy a video card, you're getting screwed if you're trying to buy a console, you're getting screwed if you wanna buy memory. Now. The only things that seem to be going down, and I have to admit, these two markets, I've been able to find a lot of great price deals. And this is in hard drives, SSDs, monitors, and peripherals. Now, obviously, since nobody out there right now, unless they've got a bunch of cash, can build a good high-end gaming machine, of course, let's drop all the price on everything else. So people are probably buying all this stuff up. I'll admit it, I have. Lately, I've bought in like nine or 10 hard drives. I've been able to get these two terabyte hard drives. They're just Barracudas, but they're really fast. They're 7200 RPM. They last for a good long time. They're solid, 50 bucks. I mean, who can go wrong for two terabytes of a good drive for 50 bucks? So right now, I mean, I can get cases cheap. Hey, no problem. I get, you know, anything like that cheap. Memory is starting to really creep up though. So buying good memory is now really expensive as well. So the bottom line here is that anything high end PC at this point in time is unobtainable unless you have a lot of money or some connection who can hook you up at price because it's just ridiculous. Now, I know that people say, hey, you can go buy pre-built systems. And honestly, I know that people don't like that, but if that is going to be the only way that you can afford to get a video card, here's what I would suggest. 
just go out and find the parts that you like and then contact one of those pre-built systems and see if they, you know, excuse me, pre-built system companies, you know, there's a lot of them out there that, that do this and they could probably build the machine almost how you want it. So, I mean, unless you're the person who just absolutely has to have their hands on, you know, you're like the mechanic who wants to fix his own car, you're the doctor who likes to look up your own, well, I won't even say that, but you know what I mean. You know, that's really kind of, that's, how, that's a weird thing, but <laughs> I was laughing so hard I forgot what I was saying. But, but anyways, unless you're one of those people, I mean, getting someone to build your, you a pre-built system isn't really that bad of a thing. I mean, if you want a Corsair 900D case, you know, you want a, a water cooler from Swift Tech, you want a motherboard from Asus, you know, you want another part from Gigabyte, they can all build this for you. And one thing that's also cool about having a pre-built is the fact that when these guys build it, they test it, they do all the cable management. So you should know that when you're receiving these systems, they're going to be good to go. I mean, let's face it, you can't get the cards. I can't get them, you can't get them. Really, nobody can get them. And, you know, I, I made a video the other day where I was talking about, you know, NVIDIA bringing some cards and making these cards. Now listen, you're telling me, because this is what I keep hearing from everybody, oh, Elric, they're not going to buy those cards because they don't game. Well, what about if a company, I don't care who the frack it is, I don't care if it's AMD, NVIDIA, or Bob's Cheeseburgers, I don't give a damn. If anybody can come up with a mining card for a lower price that does nothing but mine, that would totally alleviate this problem altogether. If I was a miner, why would I want to pay $5.99 for a gaming card if I could get a plain old card for, you know, $300? And that's the problem with the market right now. You can fix that one little problem right there. One thing, and it's just a simple thing, is provide these cards to miners at a lower price than gaming cards. Guess what? They'll sell a shite ton of these cards. Face it, I would buy the cards. You would buy the cards. If all of us could go out, excuse me, and we could buy you know, cards that were dedicated for mining that weren't going to cost an arm and a leg, you wouldn't even really worry about trying to resell them once they get broke. And that's another thing that's really up. You know what I'm saying? You guys tell me all the time, well, what these guys do is they take the card and they mine the card till the card's almost dead and they turn around and sell it on eBay as a normal card. Well, if they've almost worn the card out, that's like selling a broken car. And that's totally, utterly uncool and should honestly be illegal. It's not. But it is, it's pretty much selling you a lemon for the price of a diamond, and that's just totally, totally rotten. Rotten, 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 rotten. So what do you guys think? I mean, I know there are a lot of guys out there, like I said before, in a lot of these countries that don't have access to a lot of stuff. And for you guys, trying to get even a mid-level system is extremely hard, but now, trying to get a high-end gaming system, you guys would literally probably have to sell your house, sell your sister, and work on the corner doing some crazy stuff for a few months just to probably be able to buy a video card, much less the surrounding parts to that system. And honestly, I find that very sad and discouraging. Right now, I'm telling you, I've been in this PC business since the very beginning. I'll let you guys in a little secret. When all these companies first formed in the beginning, there was all just one company. Well, my dad's an attorney and he was involved with that bringing the businesses over here to America. So something you guys probably don't know and I'm just gonna share with you right now. Asus, Gigabyte, MSI, all owned by the same corporation. Uh, shocking, no, it's true. In the beginning, they set up four companies and they set those companies up to all come against each other. Cause you guys all know in America, we have laws that do not let you monopolize. You cannot totally monopolize anything at all and rule the market. So they're just gonna come over here as one PC company. It would be like Intel and there'd be no AMD. So we all know AMD is the counter to Intel. Well, when these guys came here, they split those companies up and they, actually it's really smart because they make those companies all compete against each other. So just imagine if you owned a taco business, right? And so you had four different taco shops you own them all and you made them all compete for better business. Smart idea, right? It really is. So honestly, folks, I hope things change for not just for me, but for you and everybody out there so that in the future, things will be better for gamers. Gaming right now is a pain in the butt. You can't even really be a console peasant unless you dish out a bunch of money too. The prices just since Christmas have over then doubled. Why should they do that? It's just gouging and passing it down the line. Oh, I am really, really frustrated. Now, I know some of you people might not like this, but you could always turn to the dark side.